Hello and thank you for watching this short video about Sarium Holdings PLC. My name is Dr. Tim Mitchell and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Sarium. I'm speaking to you from the offices of Charles Stanley in London. Sarium is a drug discovery company primarily in the area of cancer research. We build value into the company by advancing our drug research programs towards the stage where they're ready for their first clinical trials in patients. And we aim to generate revenues by licensing these drug candidates to larger pharmaceutical companies. Pharmaceutical companies are increasingly looking to small biotechnology companies like us to fill their clinical research pipelines, and cancer is one of the most common th therapy areas for these licensing deals. In our half yearly results statement and research update of February 27th, we say that we anticipate we will commercialize at least one of our, our research programs by the end of the calendar year. Sarium operates a very flexible and cost-effective research model in that all our laboratory research is outsourced to a worldwide network of commercial research providers. Internally, we decide which molecules to make and which test of efficacy and safety to put them through, then commission this work with our research providers. The company has very low fixed overheads with this model. We use our skill technology platform to generate the majority of our drug research programs. Skill or Sarium kinase inhibitor library comprises a large collection of molecules on which we have strong patent protection that can be fine-tuned using our expertise and experience to inhibit the activity of many kinase enzymes. These kinase enzymes are key components of biochemical pathways, some of which are overly active in many cancers, and give rise to the growth of the tumour. Our skill molecules obstruct the activity of these particular kinases and thus prevent the growth of the tumour. We routinely cross the skill molecules from our drug research programs against a wide range of kinase enzyme types and exploit any activity against suitable kinases we believe to be important in cancer cell growth to open up new research programs. Thus we have a rich res resource of new program opportunities to grow the company and to replace those programs we license on to pharmaceutical companies. I will now turn to our drug research pipeline. Our most advanced program is our CHK1 or Checkpoint Kinase 1 program. This is a joint venture between ourselves, the Cancer Research a UK funded Institute of Cancer Research and Cancer Research Technology, their commercial arm. This program is in preclinical development, i.e. preparation for its first clinical trials in patients. This drug candidate is intended to boost the efficacy of DNA damaging chemo and radiotherapy. Radiotherapy and many chemotherapies work by damaging the ca a cancer cell's DNA, which will ultimately destroy the cancer cell. However, these cells can stop their cell division process and set about repairing the DNA damage. One of the most important DNA repair mechanisms is controlled by checkpoint kinase 1. If a cancer is treated by a combination of DNA damaging chemotherapy or radiotherapy, plus a check 1 inhibiting drug, the cancer will be unable to repair its damaged DNA, which will lead to its destruction. We have previously demonstrated this potentiation effect in preclinical models of colon cancer. In our latest research update of February 27th, we noted that we've demonstrated additional efficacy in preclinical models of lung cancer and neuroblastoma. Our intention is to license this research program in essentially its present state of advancement to a pharmaceutical company partner. And we anticipate we'll conclude such a deal by the end of this calendar year. The rest of our drug research pipeline is based on our skill technology platform and I will pick up some key highlights uh, reported in our recent research update of February 27th. Our Aurora plus FLIT3 kinase programs uses one molecule to obstruct the action of two kinase types important to the growth of AML or acute myeloid leukemia. We reported the results of our first in vivo efficacy studies in February last year in which we were able to reduce AML to no detectable tumour. This resulted in a very positive response from the market. In our research update of February 27th, we reported that we are in the process of selecting a candidate to prepare for clinical trials from two lead molecules. Our intention is that we prepare the selected molecule for clinical trials in conjunction with a partner company, which will significantly reduce the cost to us of this preparation. Again, our intention is to execute such a deal by the end of this calendar year. Our TIC2 kinase program primarily targets autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis and rheumatoid arthritis and thus expands the commercial opportunities available to us. This program arose from the cross-screening of our skill compounds generated in other research programs 
and demonstrates the success of the platform in opening up new areas for research. In our research update of February 27th, we noted that initial studies in preclinical models of multiple sclerosis and arthritis have demonstrated the efficacy of our lead molecule. Given the commercial interest in this research area and the complex biology involved, it is our intention to commercialize this program at the earliest opportunity, either through a license deal or a co-development arrangement. Again, we anticipate that one of these deal types can be executed by the end of the year. Finally, we announced a new program, Microtubule Binding Agents. Again, this program has arisen from the screening of our skill compounds, but differs by not targeting a kinase enzyme. The lead molecules are thought to work in a similar way to the highly successful taxane drugs, such as Taxol and Taxotere. Our molecules have the advantage of being uh, dosed by the oral route, i.e. as a pill, unlike the taxanes, which can only be dosed by injection. To summarize then, Sarium is an established cancer research company advancing its drug research pipeline towards clinical trials and licensing to pharmaceutical partners. We have demonstrated the ability of our skill platform to deliver research programs to be prepared for clinical trials. We anticipate we will execute at least one commercial de deal this year and that such a deal would transform the status of the company. Thank you very much for watching this video. Further details are available on our website www.sarium.co.uk or by contacting me directly.